Hello there, people of YouTube. My name is Cuban Dismo, and today I wanted to bring you guys a video regarding my first impressions of Total War Rome Remastered and how those impressions have evolved over the last several days. Real quick, I just want to say that if at any point in this video you find yourself agreeing or disagreeing with something that I say, I want to hear about it. I've been a part of many discussions on this game over the last week, and I want to keep it going, so please leave a comment on whatever your thoughts are on this game, this video, or both. So last week I made my YouTube debut with my Total War Rome Remastered campaign guide. Mere minutes after uploading that video, my installation for the game finished. I was ecstatic to say the least. I launched the game immediately. I clicked New Game. I clicked Imperial Campaign. I clicked Julia. I set all the settings to Remastered because I wanted the Remastered experience and I watched the new Julia cinematic with the same audio from the original. I was hyped beyond belief. The game starts and it looks amazing, but guys, I have to be honest, about 45 seconds later, I wanted to cry. And not in a good way. Allow me to explain. I don't know you. I don't know what experience you have with the original Rome Total War, and I don't know what expectations you had when you first went to play the remastered. But if you're anything like me, then you probably expected to feel, at least a little bit, like you knew what you were doing. That was definitely not the case for me. My first attempt at playing the remaster felt like when you have a messy room, but it's your messy room, and you know where everything is, and then someone comes in and cleans the hell out of it, and it looks really good and clean and organized, but now you don't really know where anything is. Due to how much experience I have with the original, I honestly expected to start a campaign and to just be a god immediately, but I found myself pretty overwhelmed trying to learn all the new interfaces and trying to match up where everything was in the original to where it is now. That was the reason for my metaphorical tears on April 29th. But on April 30th, I tried again. And guess what? It went a lot better. Because the first hour of me playing that day was spent just exploring. Exploring the new campaign interface. Exploring the new battle interface. Exploring the new information menus. So yes, there was a period where it took some major getting used to, and I'm still learning new things constantly. But it doesn't feel like a chore anymore. So if you're one of those people that was ridiculously hyped for this remaster, but you can't stand what they've done with the new interface, my advice to you is to just be patient and bear through it. Bear through the learning curve that this new interface brings with it, and you'll probably be happy that you did. Or, wait for the mods. We all know that this game is going to be heavily modded sooner or later, and we also know how much of a difference mods can make when it comes to, well, everything. Especially user interfaces. If you're familiar with Skyrim's wonderful mod for the PC, Sky UI, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully somebody will make something similar to suit your particular needs for this game if you find the current UI not to your liking. Here's my opinion. The remaster is good. I like it. In fact, I now like it almost as much as I thought I would when it was first announced, and if you agree with me about this, then I'm glad. However, I also hope you'll forgive me as I now say some not so very nice things about the game. I want to make this clear. I am not of the opinion that this game is flawless. The game has many flaws. Flaws that are both brand new with the remaster and flaws that I've been dealing with for over 15 years in the original. Now, I understand that this remaster was not really an attempt to fix all the problems in the original game. However, that doesn't mean that I can't slash won't still be upset about them. Here are the three big flaws that bug me the most. 1. Pathing. Still a big issue. Mostly in siege battles. I click somewhere I want a unit to go and it can sometimes take the most ridiculous route to get there, either causing me to have to micro that unit to an insane degree, or causing that unit to get caught out by the enemy, which can very easily lose me the battle. For years, in the original, I wouldn't even play siege battles for this reason. I despised siege battles, but as time went on, I found that if I am very careful, I can usually do better than the auto-resolve. Usually. Which brings me to my second gripe with the game. Auto Resolve. I was playing a few days ago, and there was a battle that I absolutely knew that I could not win myself. However, it pretty much indicated that, with Auto Resolve, there was a 50-50 chance. 
so I auto-resolved and I won, killing twice as many as I lost. And it wasn't even like I was defending a siege or anything, which would make the auto-resolve go more in my favor. No, it was just a regular old battle. I couldn't even picture my own troops winning in my mind unless Jupiter himself came down and got involved. I feel like auto-resolve is just a major cop-out in instances like these. I know that they've rebalanced chariots so that they don't have such an overwhelming impact when it comes to the auto-resolve, and I pray that they do the same to more units. The last issue that I'm going to address is one that I've always had with this game, and that's the battle difficulty levels. There's easy, medium, hard, and very hard. The huge beef that I have with these difficulty levels is that the only differences between them are the stats of units, namely attack and morale. On easy, your troops gain attack and morale. On hard, enemy troops gain attack and morale. On very hard, enemy troops gain even more attack and morale. And on medium, it's an even playing field. I do not like this. I think that this might have been an okay way of doing things in 2004, but today it just seems lazy. The only differences between the levels of difficulty in battles, in my own humble opinion, should have to do with how smart or dumb the AI is. Now look, I understand that these three problems, pathing, auto-resolve, and battle difficulty are not easy ones to fix. I also understand that you have to draw the line when it comes to changing things between an original and a remaster, because otherwise it might not be a remaster anymore, it might become a whole separate thing. But again, this does not mean that I'm not going to complain about them, because I sure am. I'm going to take my own advice here though, and I'm going to be patient and wait for the mods. These issues will most likely be very difficult, if not impossible, to address with mods, but hey, let's see what the future holds. Guys, I have my first playthrough coming very soon, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Rome Total War content in the future. Thank you for listening to my thoughts, which turned into something of a rant, and I'll see you next time.